Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love and general reading. This is for the element of uh, fire. So if you're Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of May 7th through the 9th, 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate. Uh, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, if you want to reach me by phone, uh, make sure you're registered at Bill per call, um, and then I'll um, and request the call back, and then I'll uh, if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within uh, a seven day time frame. And then also, um, uh, what was I say? Oh, check me out on Patreon. Uh, the Venus sign readings are there now. Um, as well as additional content. And then I do like some little quick reads on TikTok now. So uh, we have Judgment, Strength, Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Sagittarius, Pisces, the Emperor, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so the overall energy I feel that is some sort of residual energy coming towards you. Something's something's resurfacing. Some something's coming back up to the surface. You're going to have another opportunity to respond to someone or something. Um, you're going to have an opportunity to uh, take advantage of a potential opportunity. Um, and tie up any loose ends that you may have. Now, it also looks like, it looks like something is moving in your direction or you were being guided towards a direction, but you were resistant towards, you know, the direction that spirit was guiding you to. But I feel like you are now kind of letting your resistance down and you're being kind of open to what the universe has in store for you. It's like, okay, universe, what is it? You know, I get it. What do you want from me? So I kind of feel like you are standing before, um, I want to say, well, yeah, it's like you're standing before your past actions, standing before the universe or the universe is like, showing you something you also might experience some sort of past life um memories either through dreams or if you're trying to meditate and remember something something is coming back to your memory something you forgot you're going to recall it um yeah, it's, it's also time for you guys to tie up any loose ends as well. Now, I also see something being returned. Um, so on a mundane level, you might be making returns, something that, you know, didn't fit uh, or, you know, just whatever. You got to return it. You got to send it back. Spiritually, yes, it does look like return to sender. Um something just looks like returning yeah you're gonna deal with some sort of past issue so that you can uh, resolve it or complete it any type of uh, paperwork that you keep putting off it's like okay finish the paperwork this weekend uh, any if you started a website but you never did put publish I feel like you're publishing it um, Matter of fact, speaking of publishing, anything that you've done that creatively that has not been published, I feel like you're going to release it or something is being published. Um, but, you know, after you kind of complete some things or finish some things off. Now, it does also look like maybe someone will be reaching out to you or, you know, someone's calling you. Um, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, or even a Leo. Um, I feel too like 
you will have confirmation of something or you will have some sort of response. So even though um, you may be returning to something or responding to something, someone also may be responding to you. Like if you've been waiting for a response from anything, anyone, uh, you, I feel like you're going to get a response or a confirmation or something. Um, I also would check uh, your birth chart your natal chart and look to where Sagittarius, what how Sagittarius is in, um, as well as Pisces and maybe Aries um, and Leo as well. I feel like those are, uh, areas of your birth chart that are currently being activated. Um, I feel like something's going on with your dreams. I feel like something is expanding, like your knowledge or there is something has depth. Maybe you're also reading or researching things that kind of take you for a richer understanding or a deeper understanding of something. I'm also getting uh, doing some sort of research in regards to um, like your your heritage or your your path. I feel like something's going on with your spiritual path. Definitely could be looking into occult knowledge or anything dealing with um, esoteric, yeah, esoteric and occult knowledge, um, anything dealing with spirituality. Maybe you're also looking at religion for whatever reason, structured religion. You also may be uh, looking into traveling. I feel like some of you are thinking about traveling. And if it's not going to be literal traveling, then maybe you're trying to understand or learn how to astral project or astral travel or remote view, like all things dealing with uh, the metaphysical. Um, some of you may have work this weekend, especially if you have like some side gig or a part time job. Some of you may be called in to work and you might take it because it's only for a few hours or something. Mm. I also get that there's something going on with one of your co-workers. Nothing bad, no, no drama. I feel like it's harmonious at work. I feel like at work you guys are, you know, able to work together, um, able to compromise and find solutions to um, whatever you're working on as a team. It just looks like teamwork. Mm, I also feel like some of you may be uh, wanting to start a business. Um, if you're not starting a business, although it would be a good time to do that this weekend for you entrepreneurs um, and independent contractors, it would be good to start. Um, but if not, something looks like Maybe you're getting a leadership position or something's going on with your um, supervisor or someone who oversees your, your work here. Um, I feel like this person is a humble person. I feel like they're not bossy. They do like to watch, but they also give you space to do what you need to do. Um, if you just started a new job, I feel like you're going to get along with the people and your uh, supervisors or managers. Um, romantically, I feel like somebody does want to uh, finish where you left off or they've been thinking about you. And I feel like they want to start fresh or... Maybe something never had a chance to go anywhere. Maybe you were moving in a direction with someone and something halted or stalled. Um, and it looks like maybe there's going to be an opportunity um, for you and this person to work things out, work out your differences. Now, if this is a love interest, this person is still very much in control or it's like the ball is in their court. And I feel like this person's very, very dominating. They, I feel like there's, they're very, what do you call it? Disciplined. They're very disciplined. So I feel like this person's not going to do anything against their will. They're not going to do anything 
that they're not comfortable doing and they're not going to take action before they're ready to. Um, it's like they call all the shots. This person, they like to be in control. But maybe you have something about your energy that is mutable um, because it seems like you are, you just work with them. You're willing to work with whatever, you know, they're willing uh, on their terms. I mean, although it's, it does look like a mutual agreement, it's like whatever the terms on, you're like, I can work with that. Like, I'm not going to fight you with that. Like, yeah, that works. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of nice compromise. Um, I feel like somebody's been appearing to you in dreams. It may be time for some of you to take action when it comes to doing some sort of spiritual work. Anything you've been putting off, I feel like something is like, okay, time for you to take action with that now. Mm, you could have some sort of gift, uh, especially when it comes to like dreams or dream interpretation or maybe even hypnosis. I feel like something about Jupiter is significant for you guys too. I feel like Jupiter is helping you or assisting you at um, accomplishing goals or just getting you what you need. You're being receiving some sort of blessings from Jupiter. Mm. I feel too like some of you are trying to work on your finances, your health, and your credit. I get that romantically there is an age difference. You also may get involved with someone who you work with or someone who is a client or someone that you've done business with in general. Something may be started off as a business venture or partnership or started off on a professional level, um, but it may, you know, turn into something else here. Yeah, so three, three of Pentacles, um, it's clarify Ace of Cups in the shadow. Um, so I feel like you are focusing on things that you are passionate about, things that you really desire. Like you might feel obsessed with a project this weekend, a work project. Like you can't stop thinking about work or you can't stop thinking about, um, you know, any type of project that you're working on, even if it's just creative, it's, it's like you're obsessed with it. Romantically, it also seems like there is some sort of uh, obsession going on. Mm. I feel too like you are, something about this love is very seductive. Like once you enter this situation, I feel like you can't break from it, like you're locked in. I also feel like if this is about some sort of habit that you were trying to break or eating habits, like you might be going off of a diet or um, it's like well, you can't just eat one. You can't just smoke one cigarette. You can't just like something is like once you open that box, like you, yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to get control of the situation again. Mm. Okay, I'm getting something's intensified. Okay, so it also looks like you may get invited to something, uh, some sort of private something. It's either a private group, could be a private funding group, um, it could be a secret organization, um, but it looks like you're being invited to something. It could be a small party, and at this party could be a lot of 
temptation or vices there. If this is love, yeah, definitely. If it's love, it looks like something that didn't work out in the past is, is now going to be able to work. It's like you guys are healed and moving past some sort of old situation. I feel like you guys were suffering in silence or one of you were um, afraid to come forward dealing with uh, abandonment issues and I feel like now there's an opportunity to resolve the past issues and uh, see where something goes it's like let's see where this goes but I, I do feel like either way something could be long term whether it's a business relationship or a work relationship um, and someone's very serious about resolving the past issues they're like no I'm serious about this I'm not playing around this needs to be fixed someone may also be dis, um, discussing getting professional help for something and I do see a, a, an intervention for somebody if somebody has like any type of addiction um, I see an intervention I'm getting also something about being disciplined so I don't know if someone is being a strict parent if you're a strict parent a love interest could be a single parent for sure Some of you may have a confirmation of a pregnancy. I'm getting a male has very potent sperm. For some of you, or for somebody, I'm getting the name Ronald or Ron. dictator dictatorship <laughs> somebody is kind of like a dictator but I feel like you are okay with it you're like oh yeah they they can dictate me you know how certain people just bring certain parts out of you like you can it depend because they know how to m manage or manipulate or I don't want to say manipulate that's a bad <laughs> but they know how to uh, manage you they know how to they tap into your energy and talk to you um, okay, we'll just use a child and a parent, for example. Let's say you as a parent have been getting on your child about something. Your child never listens to you. Your sister comes over and auntie is like, now don't tell your mother, but blah, blah, blah. But let me, let me put it to you this way. This is why you need to do this, that, and the other. And the next thing you know, the child is doing everything that the mom couldn't get them to do. It's because auntie know how to top it's like let me handle it so somebody knows how to manage or handle your energy or you know how to manage and handle somebody else i'm not gonna I'm, i was joking when i said manipulate i don't see manipulation um because i feel like that's more so when you are unaware that you know somebody's doing something to you i feel like this is you're very much aware this is like a group effort this is compromise um I see the end of broken promises or the end of fear, the end of anticipation or the wait is over. Spiritually, somebody's being visited by their father uh, who's crossed over or someone who's like a father figure. Uh, Someone's ancestor or spirit guide may be visiting you in your dreams. And I kind of feel like they're uh, giving you uh, permission or giving you approval of something. They're like, yes, you have my approval.
I'm getting the energy of someone who is both religious and spiritual. This person is spiritual, but they still want structure or they still like to be disciplined or told what to do. Someone definitely has a Christian background. I can't stop staring at the Pisces fish. So this is also about some sort of mutual agreement of sorts. Mm. I feel like you're coming to a peaceful decision about something. And something's also just being revealed to you in a dream. Uh, I see a soul contract. I feel like your prayers are being answered or the universe is responding to your prayers. Um, and I feel like you're entering some sort of a soul contract. And it's, it's going to be a lot of work or you are being prepared to take on, you know, a lot of responsibilities. That also could be for a dream job like the universe is making it so that you can have that dream job, but it also is keeping you busy. It's a lot of hard work. So I also feel that you're being prepared for a trip, ready to forgive, something is guiding you, something is part of your spiritual path. Um, I feel like something about forgiveness and starting a group or having a sense of belonging, something is becoming official for you. Yeah, I feel like you're giving into your desires or yeah, more so like giving into your desires. You're being led on a certain path and you should follow your passions. Those of you in a relationship, it does look like someone's being tempted or tested. And it looks like someone was trying to show resistance, compromise. Okay, so somebody might be in a relationship, but they're attracted to another person and they're trying to stay away from that person. But at the end of the day, they decide to become friends and they're like, we'll just be friends. But the temptation is there. All right, so let me pull some energy cards. All right, what additional messages are there for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? You have contract, so you do have some sort of contract. Door to Romance, Six Angel, I'm sorry, Six Chakra, Archangel Metatron, Overall Energy, The World. Okay. Now, I feel like this is about coming to, um, clo coming, coming to a closure, closing up some sort of a cycle. Um, so again, that is kind of like what the judgment card was talking about, like 
time for you to complete this or finish this. So I feel like you guys are headed towards completion with something. And it also looks like there is um, a secret that's going to be revealed or something's coming out. Something's being uh, revealed to you is what I'm getting. It could be in a dream. Um, but it, it looks like something's getting ready to come towards you or you are headed towards your path. Uh, 33 may also be uh, significant for some of you. I feel like you are on the path towards that relationship like door to romance. So I feel like there's uh, some sort of compromise in order to have romance or that's, that's like the first part. It's like first there needs to be some sort of compromise, some sort of mutual agreement between parties. Um, in order for something to work um, and it looks like that's what's happening now it also for business wise it does look like you're doing what you enjoy doing something you're following your heart um, maybe your career has something to do with romance I feel like something is needed to be done because it, it has to do with your uh, awakening or your third eye. Something something about your love life may have to do with uh, your third eye opening, your awareness, your consciousness. Uh, maybe more things are going to be revealed to you about, I heard, the underworld. Um, some of you try to shy away from that, but know that the spiritual path is not all about you know, love and light and daisies and pixies and fairies is like about dark stuff too. Um, and I got like a message of duality in um, the first reading I did, I believe. So, you know, everything is duality. Everything has a shadow side, a light side and a shadow side. So maybe you've, you're coming out of some sort of shadow work and you're being led to more of uh, the lighter side of spirituality but either way I still feel like something deals with like the underworld mm, now also maybe it's talking about interdimensional beings or you are just being becoming more aware of this this universe how things work uh, being revealed, seeing things that come from other worlds or other unit, um, um, other dimensions or universes here. Um, I feel like your intuition is heightened. And overall, I just kind of feel like you are needing to stay grounded with whatever is going on in your life. If you're falling in love, that's fine, but stay grounded. Find a way to stay balanced. Um, find ways to pull yourself back into reality without getting lost. Um, it's like fall in love, but don't get lost in love. Uh, emotionally, you also could be ready. Something could be going on where now you are ready to deal with you know, certain situations, you had to be um, psychically ready to deal with things that you're getting ready to see, uh, emotionally ready for relationships, um, just overall mentally ready for career, like, you know, you have to be ready. And I feel like there just needed to be some sort of adjustments in your life. But yeah, overall, get ready to move forward with some sort of a new contract whether it's a spiritual contract or a literal career contract or agreement or nego just negotiation, negotiating with family members about some sort of decision. Use your, use your intuition too at the end of the day. I'm looking at the third eye and the heart. Those definitely deal with, you know, they kind of work hand in hand, like your heart chakra and your third eye. So let your intuition guide you if you do feel stuck or undecided or you you're like what should I do like what does your heart want 
go with your heart in this particular situation is what I'm getting. So hopefully those messages have resonated. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.